Bridgeport, Connecticut, 1953. Albert K. Bender, the nation's top UFO investigator, receives a threatening visit that will bring his research to an abrupt and premature halt. Albert K. Bender founded the International Flying Saucer Bureau. This was during the big UFO flap of 1952 when flying saucers were witnessed over Washington, D.C. and many other areas around the world. And this organization blew up big within that first year. However, just a year later, he suddenly ended the International Flying Saucer Bureau, and people wondered why. And what happened was that he came home one night, went into his bedroom, and suddenly these three dark, shadowy figures materialized through his wall into his bedroom. They were wearing the hats and the overcoats. They had glowing eyes, and they smelled like sulfur. According to Bender, the three entities communicated with him through telepathy, warning him to discontinue his UFO research and stop publishing his influential magazine, The Space Review. Afterwards, he became ill and didn't eat for three days. After this experience, Bender was repeatedly visited. He said they gave him headaches, they, they controlled him telepathically, and he ultimately gave up his UFO researches and stopped publishing The Space Review, in which he documented UFO sightings throughout the world. He told the people that had been subscribers and he was working with, they told me, we come from a very, very far distant place in this universe. And we have been coming and going from your planet for some time, and we cannot allow you or anyone to interfere. And in fact, we have taken many humans from this planet to cover up our operations until we are done. This is a very influential point in our history, especially in the ufology community, in which shadow entities interfered and thwarted somebody's research and possibly set the field back a number of years. The visitors Albert Bender encountered matched descriptions of what is today known as the Hat Man, but he called them by another name, the Men in Black. While the Men in Black are often portrayed in pop culture as government agents, many who claim to have encountered them believe they are something other than human. The men in black are mysterious and nefarious entities. They're shadowy, they wear black clothing. Many people believe that they're either extraterrestrials or somehow they're working for extraterrestrials to prevent humans from learning the truth about extraterrestrials on Earth. They talk to UFO witnesses. Some people have reported they seem to not know things that are common, like you know, which end of a pen to use, or uh, if they're offered something to eat or drink, they don't know how to eat or drink it. Both the hat man and the men in black are known for wearing a hat. They both influence people telepathically. They both appear to be sometimes malevolent, and they could, in fact, be the same type of a being. There's a theory that the hat man and the men in black are actually the ringleaders of the shadow people and that, in fact, they direct the shadow people to influence humans in particular to keep them from investigating UFO experiences. There's no question that the stories of shadow people, men in black, and other visitations are all mixed in together. Are they the same? Possibly. But what I think what is really happening on this planet is mass hysteria of real events that are happening to real people and they can't understand what's going on. Who knows what's happening?